Today, Democrats introduced a sweeping immigration reform bill. Three of the biggest focuses of the bill are a pathway to citizenship, attacking the border backlog head on, and continued improvements to border security. Joining us now he is one of the leading members of Congress behind this bill, California Representative Linda Sanchez. Congresswoman, thank you so much for joining us today. Now, this bill, which mirrors a lot of what President Biden laid out during his first day in office, is one of the most wide ranging immigration rollouts that we've seen in decades. What's the reality of this getting enough Republican support to make this into a reality? Well, you know, it's interesting. People keep asking me that, but there is a reality that we can get Republican support for this bill. In the last Congress, we were able to pass a number of pieces of immigration reform legislation with Republican support. I think this bill, there's a lot to like in it. And I think once we sit down and have those conversations, we can begin to educate Republicans about what is in the bill and why it makes our country safer, stronger, and more prosperous. So uh, it's just a matter of doing the outreach and answering questions and trying to address concerns. Clearly, this is the starting point. No piece of legislation uh, at the start looks like um, the final piece of legislation when we vote on it. Um, it's just the beginning of a very democratic process. But there's absolutely no reason why we can't get Republican support for this bill. And you just said that uh, earlier during a press conference and also just now that we all know that when you introduce a bill, oftentimes the end result is not uh, the same as the starting result, given everything that is going on in our country right now between COVID vaccines and the economy. Would you say that this is the best time to present this bill? And, and how much of the original proposal are you willing to sacrifice? So I will just say this. Um, this is a common sense solution to immigration reform uh, that has plagued our immigration system for decades. Now is certainly the time. Most of the people who will be applying through citizenship through this process are already living and working here in the United States. Many of them are essential workers who have kept food on the stores of our er, on the shelves of our grocery stores during this pandemic, who have helped care for el the elderly in nursing facilities, who have held the hands of patients who took their last breath in the emergency room, who uh, people who were affected by COVID. These are parts of our community. They, they are integral parts of our community's families, and they deserve some relief. This bill, you ask any economist, will help grow our economy and reduce our deficit. So yeah, now is the time. And the bill lays out a pathway to citizenship over the span of eight years. How can you reassure the undocumented community of 11 million that their information is in safe hands with the Biden government? Uh, right now, he's only elected to serve, of course, for four years. And on the other side of that argument, what kind of vetting will be done to make sure that the people uh, granted this opportunity are truly deserving of it? Well, there is a rigorous application process. Obviously, there will be the background checks that are accompany that, uh, the need to pay fees. So there will be a rigorous process for making sure that um, these folks should be on the path to citizenship. There are privacy protections included within this bill. I mean, the bill is sweeping. It has identified most of the choke points of our legal immigration system and helps to unsnarl those problems so that we can keep families from being separated from decade, for decades or, or waiting decades to reunite with loved ones. And this bill also includes a focus on the factors that cause people to migrate. The price tag on it would be $4 billion over the span of four years. Who would provide oversight of that money to make sure that it isn't placed in the wrong hands of the very foreign government officials who share a huge portion of the responsibility for the conditions of these countries? Sure. I'm glad you've asked that question because what this bill does that is different from any immigration bill prior is it seeks to address the root causes, the reasons why people come north, and it creates a plan to use, uh, you know, uh, collaboration with the international community, with the private sector, um, to create benchmarks um, and help governments try to reduce things like poverty, violence, corruption to establish rule of law and democratic institutions in these countries. If we are able to get at the root causes that cause many of these people to flee and come north, we can stem much of the tide of immigration. But, you know, the last administration, they tried every tool within their, within their reach to make immigration as restrictive, as difficult as possible, and that did not work. 
you know, uh, we had a president that was fixated on a wall, and that's not a solution to a modern day problem. This bill um, that is the Biden vision uh, commits resources and, um, and infrastructure at our ports of entry to make sure that we are able to manage our southern border. And with the, that is a multi-pronged approach with, um, with getting at the root causes, I think is the right uh, set of common sense uh, policies that will help us fix this problem once and for all. All right, so we'll see if your closers are able to make it happen. Congresswoman Sanchez, we thank you so much for your time. I appreciate it. My pleasure. Thanks for your interest. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.